In the last few videos, we learned about higher order components. The HOC pattern is used to share common functionality between components without having to repeat the code. Now let's take a look at another pattern for sharing code between React components, which is the render prop pattern. We will go over this topic in two parts. In this video, we will quickly revisit why there is a need for render props and in the next video, we will see what the render prop pattern is and how to implement it. I will let you know though, this video is pretty much the same as what we did to understand HOCs. Let's begin. I'm going to create a new file called clickcounter2.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rce to create a class component. I will get rid of the named export and for the JSX, I will add a button with the text clicked x times. Next, I'm going to add a constructor using the snippet rconst and create a state property called count and initialize it to zero. I will also add a click handler to the button on click is going to be equal to this dot increment count. Now we can define the handler. Increment count is going to be equal to an arrow function. And within the body, we call this dot set state to increment the count value by one. The argument is going to be a function which accepts the previous state as a parameter and returns count set to previous state dot count plus one. Finally, in the render method, I will extract count from the state and include it in the JSX. const count is equal to this dot state and clicked count times. Now let me include this click counter in app component. If you now save the files and take a look at the browser, you can see that when I click on the button, the count value increments. So we have successfully created a click counter. Now we have a new requirement for a hover counter. So basically a click counter with click functionality replaced by hover functionality. Let's implement that. We'll go back to VS Code and create a new file called hovercounter2.js. Within the file, I will use the snippet rce to create a class component. I will get rid of the named export and for the JSX, I will add a heading that says hovered x times. On the heading, we will handle the on mouse over event. On mouse over is equal to this dot increment count. Now we need the counter functionality which I will copy paste from click counter to. So copy the constructor and increment count method and paste it in hover counter. Next in the render method, destructure count from this dot state and then display it as part of the heading. Finally, back in app component, we can include the hover component, hover counter two. If you now save the files and take a look at the browser, I hover on the heading and the count increases. So we have successfully created the hover counter as well. Now we have yet another requirement. The client wants an input element that counts the number of key presses. For example, on key up in an input element, they want to increment a counter value and display it. We can of course implement it just like the click counter or the hover counter, but you're going to realize that we are duplicating code and not really reusing the functionality. So there is a need to share this common functionality between components. One such pattern capable of achieving that is the higher order component pattern, which we learned in the last few videos. There is also another approach well suited for sharing functionality between React components. And that is the render props pattern. What is the render props pattern and how do we implement it? Let's take a look at that in the next video.